Mother Jones Magazine released a phenomenal article this past week where they actually tracked down and spoke to former servers and other employees of Shooter's Grill in Colorado, which of course, as everybody should know, is the restaurant owned by Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. And man, the picture these former employees paint of this restaurant isn't one that anybody should be proud of, especially not Boebert or her husband. So I actually have to read part of this because the words themselves are, are just phenomenal. Five former shooters employees said that Boebert frequently failed to pay her employees on time. <laughs> Here's a quote. The second the restaurant blew up, her head blew up and it became something entirely different. One former waitress says, and I got to meet a new version of her that is a monster. Now, before I continue reading here, let me point something out. Back in 2014 is when the restaurant became this, you know, open carry restaurant. That's what they're known for, right? The servers are walking around with guns strapped to their hips and Bobert swears up and down, you know, safety is our number one priority. Nobody ever has a reason to unholster their weapon, but she claimed at the time, because it did receive national coverage, Dan Abrams, uh, did a big story on it. CNN did big story. So yeah, it gave her a lot of attention and camera crews would show up repeatedly. I'll get more to that in just a moment. But she says she did it because in 2014, there was a man that was quote, beaten to death in the alley outside the restaurant. Turns out the man actually died of a drug overdose outside the restaurant, but never let the facts get in the way of a good marketing point. Right, Lauren? So you lied about why you even let them open carry and the media just kind of ate it up and said, Oh, this is interesting. Look at these freaks. But what you did was you elevated the restaurant. And of course, Lauren Boebert, had you not ever covered that in her restaurant, she literally wouldn't even be in Congress right now. So thanks for that, by the way, guys, real bang up job, you idiots. The story continues again from mother Jones, multiple employees say that they were paid in cash either out of the register or from Boebert's husband's wallet without any taxes deducted. Uh oh, that's illegal. While many workers were struggling to make ends meet, they say Bobert spent exorbitant sums on breast implants, private schooling for her sons and a new Cadillac Escalade. Okay. You know, that's kind of crappy, but totally not illegal. And honestly, that's what bosses do. It sucks that they do it. They shouldn't do it, but they do that. You know, that to me is kind of a blah. I'm not too interested in that. They describe her as alternately absent showing up only when news crews were at the restaurant or demanding. If she would come into the restaurant, one former employee said, everyone just knew they were going to have a bad day, but luckily for them, like they say, she rarely showed up, especially I guess when it was time to pay them. And there's another incident too, because not only were they running shooters, they also had this other catering business called Smokehouse 1776. <laughs> and many food workers vividly recall the day in 2017 when 80 attendees at a local rodeo catered by Smokehouse 1776 came down with nausea and diarrhea. A report from the County Health Department determined the cause to be food poisoning from pork sliders sold at an unlicensed mobile stand and likely stored at an improper temperature. So they didn't even have a license to go and sell these pulled pork sliders there. They didn't store them properly, according to the health department. And they gave everybody food poisoning at this rodeo. Bobert lashed out at her critics, publishing an op-ed in the local paper saying the stool samples had been quote, improperly handled and suggesting that quote, the level of filth that was on the grandstands at the fairgrounds was somehow to blame. So she couldn't even take responsibility when it was like, Hey, you did something bad. You made a lot of people sick. You know, they can't leave their bathrooms for a couple days. I don't know if you've ever had food poisoning, pretty, pretty horrible experience. Um, and you're, you, you felt so strongly about it. You had to put out an op-ed blaming dirt. Yeah. You literally were blaming dirt instead of taking responsibility for your actions. Um, so a lot of the employees ended up quitting and the reason they quit was because they said there's no money, there's no customers. And we're talking about recently, even after it had blown up shooters grill lost $226,000 in the year 2020, the year that Bobert was elected to Congress. 
her restaurant still lost $226,000. They had lost, uh, what was $143,000 the day before. Some of the servers said they were lucky to make $500 in sales as a restaurant in a single day at some points. So that's how bad this restaurant is that basically, uh, and another thing, by the way, and this is actually, I think being looked at by investigators right before she was elected, they were able to pay off $23,000 worth of liens, you know, tax liens against the restaurant in the same year that it lost $226,000. Uh, investigators are trying to make sure that that of course didn't come from her campaign money because that would be totally illegal. So that's what it is. In addition to being a horrible member of Congress, Lauren Boebert's also a horrible business owner. And I didn't even tell you about the incident where she allegedly pointed a gun at somebody who said they would have voted for Obama for a third term. Yeah. You want to check out more. I do encourage everybody to read the full piece. Because again, there's so much stuff in there, even about Lauren Boebert's backstory that I didn't know about. Links in the video description. Please read it because you're going to learn more than you ever wanted to know, but things that you definitely needed to know about Lauren Boebert. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.